Hello students, welcome back. In this part, we are going to collect so much of knowledge, so much of information. That's why I was saying it's a bank, it's a knowledge bank. So without wasting time, start collecting information and take a look to the information that I'm telling you. So start it and listen it carefully. Next, we are going to take entry into a bank, bank of knowledge bank. So here you will find so much information about biology, some facts about biology, some important dates about biology. So let's start moving on inside the knowledge bank. First we will learn is connecting and missing links. As connecting link, missing link, they are like connecting link, basically they are like connection between two categories, two texts. So. So let's start reading first the connecting link. First is actinomycetes. Actinomycetes, it is a connecting link between bacteria and fungi. Next is Argeotarix. Argeotarix, it is the connecting link between birds and reptiles. You know, you can again find so much of the multiple choice question answers on this learn this. Next is balanoglossus. Balanoglossus it is the connecting link between chordates and non-chordates. Vertebrates and invertebrates. Next is chimera and this is connecting link. This is basically rabbit fish. Rat fish or rabbit fish. And this is connecting link between bony and cartilaginous fishes. Bony and cartilaginous fishes. Next one is club moose. Club moose it is the connecting link between yes it is in bryophytes and pteridophytes. Bryophytes basically they are the amphibians of the plant kingdom. Pteridophytes. Okay next one is cycus. Cycus it is the connecting link between pteridophyte and gymnosperm pteridophytes and gymnosperm. So learn this carefully. Next one is netum. This is netum. It is in gymnosperm and angiosperm. The connecting link between gymnosperm and angiosperm. Next one is ornithorhynchus. Ornithorhynchus it is duck billed uh, platypus. Duck billed platypus and this is the uh, this is the connecting link between reptiles and mammals reptiles and mammals okay next one next one is the peripetus the peripetus it is basically the walking worm and this is connecting link between annelid and arthropoda annelids and arthropoda Okay, next one. Next one is Protopterus. Uh, Protopterus, it is a lungfish. Lungfish and this is the connecting link between the categories of the fishes. Pieces and Amphibia. Yeah, it is actually not the category Amphibia. This one. This is not the category. Basically, this is pieces is fishes and amphibia is which live in water and terrestrial conditions both. So this lungfish is a connecting link between them and then the ericacea. The ericacea basically it is the connecting link between viruses and bacteria. And the next one is virus. Virus whenever I mean whenever it find host it. Uh, uh, replicate itself otherwise it's like inactivated uh, inactive in inactive condition so it is a connecting link between living and non-living so remember that okay next one uh, now tallest smallest longest and largest in biology in category of biology